everybody! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. We are in the process of opening our, our well, day three, Capsule Chick 3 excursion here. This one we're opening is, a, is the pink box, and this is from the Sweet, uh, Sweet Circuit collection. These are sort of meant to be reused. If people want to put things in the capsules and stuff, you can actually use this again for, you know, just four, whatever. Um, the Sweet Circuits is, I mean, these are all robotic type futuristic models. I don't know if they're supposed to be robots, if they're supposed to be human robots or what, or maybe even space aliens. I know that there's a lot of say to be said that they're futuristic looks. So maybe they're kind of like a cyborg, like human robot kind of mix. I don't know. Uh, this part comes off here after you take off the plastic. And then let me just, before we start getting into it, let's just um, take a couple of minutes to look at the box art. Um, this is a um, artwork here for um, one of the looks you can get from the Sweet Circuits collection. And then over here, we got a couple, well, it's the same look. And I think this is the, ah, uh, is it going to focus on me? Okay, focus on me. This, this look right here, I think, is um, the limited edition look. And then we have this one over here, which really looks really cool. It reminds me of Val a Valentine's Fairy. And then we have this girl over here on the corner. Uh, that's what they actually look like. They have 14 points of articulation. Uh, which I have gone over um, in the last two videos, but I will again once we get our girl built. Um, let's see. It also says look for um, ultra rare fabric. We have found uh, one piece of fabric so far in one of our videos, so um, I will link um, link the links in the description below um, in case you want to check those other videos out. Um, let's see. So here is another one. It says which unique look will you create? So here's another piece of artwork here. So let's just get into it, guys. So we're going to pull this tab right here. And that pulls open. And then we're going to get our little magazine. And this magazine is exclusive to this, this collection. So this is um, basically the checklist. So uh, it tells you uh, the future fashion, like we already read in there. This is the Sweet, sweet Circus collection. Bold candy brights and sugary coatings. It's fashion that's sweet enough to eat. So I guess it's all kind of based on food. And here's the different eyes you can get in here. Ooh, I really want that one. Or the one with... Ooh, ooh, that one's pretty too. Ooh, they have some really pretty ones in here. Um, we've been blessed with plain faces for the last one, which is kind of okay, the last two. Um, fashion must-haves. Here's a couple of the pieces you can get in this series here. Candy brights. Mix and match the styles. Oh, I like that hair. And then... 14 points of articulation. Uh, get the look. This is a cool hair, too. I kind of like that one. Here's some more hair that you can get in this collection. Oh, I like... See, I do really like this one. Um, but I can settle for... I, I like all of them, so... Whoever I get is going to be awesome to me. I like that look right there, too. And then, oh, say stripes. Find this in Gigaglam. So they threw, they, they seem to, throughout the um, magazines, throw in some stuff from the other. Oh, here's some shoes you can get. The other collections, just to show you that they can match, mix and match. Um, there's some of the purses you can get. And then this is for meet all the chicks. So this is the Glam Rock. This is the Giga, Giga Glam. Wait. Ram Rock. Giga Glam. Control Alt Magic. And then this tells you how to build the stand. And it also tells you you should be turning this way and not this way. And Blaze wants to be a part of this video. Say hey Blaze! Say hello! Hello, I'm Blaze. I want you to get in the middle of everything. Okay. Can you want to turn this for me? 
Come out, come out. Oh, I thought it was going to come out smooth this time, huh? Wants to. There it is. There it is, Blaze. So it looks like the bottom of these ones are like a metallic -y, like watermelon pink. So if everything stands correctly, this should be our top, our torso. And it is. Oh, interesting. It looks like it's a bright green, um, poofy half sleeve with a little bit of different color, um, with a little bit of yellow and pink detail work there, you can see. And it's weird, the knob part on the, the where the head goes is also that green. So that's probably the color, the green is probably the color of the mold. And then they painted everything else. So um, it's going to be fine though, because once the head goes on, you're not going to see that green knob. Um, and then we just have the basic hands. Our head. And our stand. So I'll put the stand aside. Um, with the torso. And let's see what head we got. Hmm. Another plain type head. Let's see which one it is. The heads don't really, at least so far, they haven't super, super matched the, um... the ones in the chart, but they've come close. So this one has gray eyes like our last girl did. And um, I think it's this one right here. Looks pretty close to that one because it has the black detail work where it separates the top lip from the bottom lip because if you look close, it's a darker purple and a lighter purple on the lips. And then it does have that definition in the middle, which is nice. And um, She's supposed to have a yellow eyeshadow, but it looks like a grayish color to me. Um, not quite yellow. I guess you can see a little bit of yellow in it. And then she has stars on her eyes, and her eyes are kind of grayish, too. So, um, so nothing really super fancy about this one. I do wish that the, uh, the eyeshadow was a little bit more brighter and vibrant, like it is on the, um, sheet here. But, um, the colors never really come out exactly the same. I mean, even the face colors on the the, the uh, magazine kind of look um, a little bit more pale gray than the um, the purplish color of skin tone that the, the face actually is. But let's go ahead and go on to our next capsule here. So we're on a capsule three, I think. I think I got another clothes. I think I got another cloth piece, guys. So excited! Alright, let's get our feet out here. So we have, it looks like molded on leggings here. They're in like a, I want to say like a watermelon, a hot watermelon pink. And then, seems like I got another clothes piece. Ooh! It's very shimmery, too. So that's pretty cool guys. So that's awesome. And who knows, there might, they might be doing these in some sort of waves too. Because it does say across series one, so I don't know. <gasps> All right. I'm dropping stuff while I'm blabbing. So here's the shoes that we got here. See if I can get that to focus. They look like they're they're hard, they're um, a soft plastic like the rest of them, but they have a texture to them that that reminds me of um, something fuzzy. So they kind of look like oh no maybe braided with a little like pom pom on it, like a rope braided like rope. I don't know. And then we have um oh this is so cute. And then we have a matching yellow purse that's in the shape of a heart that says love on it like a candy it doesn't open but that's okay let's see if there's a oh okay there is okay 
They all seem to have this signature wristwatch. It's different colors, it seems to be so far, but um, it's a wristwatch that has that turn dial on it. So um, that might be just part of their their look there. Um, okay, so I got one more one more thing. This is gonna be the hair, guys. So the hair and maybe um, accessory piece for the hair. It's really big, whatever it is. So it's not the small one. We know that. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so... Ooh, ooh, it's really pretty. There's like three pieces here. I don't know how this is going to work out for me, but we'll figure that out. Um, wow. Okay, so it's like some curly blue locks with a big bow. and the, I, I don't know how this is going to look, but we're going to try and get all these pieces together, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, here she is all put together. I have no words for her. Okay, first of all, her hair is probably the heavy... Well, it's the heaviest hair I've seen so far in all three girls that I've opened. It's three pieces. Um, I don't know if you noticed it when I opened it up, but this part clicks on the back. So this part clicks on the front, and then there's a hole in the top of it where you can put this in, the top part ponytail. I don't... I, I bet you could probably pop that ponytail in anywhere. I don't really know um, as much of mix and matching part. But, um, check out how, like, okay, so there's one, two, okay, there's only two layers to this, but it, but the material, the tool that they use is sparkly, you have the, the sparkle yellow with the, the pink seams, and then underneath you have the pink, the sparkle pink with the yellow seams, and they just go so well together, and I, I am, my, my brain is broken, <laughs> my brain is broken, um, she's very top heavy though with this hair, so thank goodness they give us a stand that'll keep her standing because I don't think she'd do it on her own. I don't know if any of these would stand on their own anyway, but, um, I am completely love, I in love with these, I am sold on them, I think they're worth the $15.00. I, I don't like that they're blind, though. I would love to be able to collect all of them, and I guess it kind of does defer away from wanting to collect them all, because you yeah. not knowing what you're getting as a mix, I guess you would have a different doll every time. So possibly, quite possibly, um, you, you're less likely to get a double. Now, you might get... Um, a double of these leggings, but you might get a different shirt with the leggings, which would put a different outfit. Um, you might get the same face, but you might get a different uh, hair. So I, I'm going to go ahead and assume that um, that if you get this dress, you're not going to get this top, or you might not get that top. You probably could. But um, overall, though, I'm in love with these. I can't wait to get my, my hands on the other... Uh, version of this. I think it's called the um, the Ramrock. So that will be another one from another video, but I did not pick up her. Uh, these are the only three that I found. I found these at um, Walmart. Um, I also was at Target today, and Target had some as well. So um, they're all around. So <laughs> if you like this video, uh, go ahead, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.